right now on Earwolf. Fake the Nation celebrates 200 episodes with special guests John Hodgman and Maz Jabrani to discuss the lockdown with kids and the future of handshakes. For more, follow at Earwolf on social media. Happy listening. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Number two, medium with a Coke, please. Welcome to Comedy Bang Bang. <laughs> Thank you to Frozen Jello Basement for that catchphrase submission. Frozen Jello Basement. Ah, Jello. Uh, such wonderful connotations Jello has <laughs> with its spokespeople over the years. Wonderful to see them uh, uh, still going strong. Jello. I wonder if people still uh, eat Jello as as much as they. I put Jello in my. I put Jello in my coffee. You put Jello in your coffee. Pudding. Pudding. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, the dairy products. Uh, Big I put Sue. Jello. I put Jello, uh, the clear kind, in my water or my lemonade, and they chop, chop, chop till it comes all squishy. <laughs> okay, thank you. Look, Big Sue, I haven't even introduced you, <laughs> and people have no idea who you are. I, I had even to tell them. I know. I, I haven't even introduced myself at this who point. Who are you? I'm scared. <laughs> uh, welcome to Comedy Bang Bang. We have a big show coming up uh, uh, soon. We have, uh, this is exciting. We've never had him on the show before. Uh, a man with over 30 years of experience in show business, including uh, Saturday Night Live, uh, the movie Tommy Boy. Uh, he has a new movie coming out called The Wrong Missy. Uh, it's out on Netflix now. We'll be talking to him about it. Uh, and then uh, we, we also have, uh, I don't even want to spoil it. We have another guest coming up uh, uh, who, uh, uh, I don't even want to say who it is, but uh, it's a very exciting Who show, is so. it? I'm scared. I'm so scared when I don't know who's it's coming. Not, yeah, it's not even Halloween and you're so scared. Ah! I, know, I know you get very, very frightened as the days count down to Halloween. Is that right? I, I, I start January, no, November 1, least scared I've ever been. Sure. Well, and you, the, you pay the rent, and then and then I'm not scared. I can stay in my carpet store a little bit longer. <laughs> then you know we cut to January, February, March. This is a smash I, cut too, as well, right? Smash cut. I start getting more and more scared because I know the big day is coming when the skeleton comes. <laughs> That's right. Then Star Wars diagonal wipe too. Ooh, I love a diagonal Star Wars wipe up the crack. A diag- I only use diagonal wipe in quarantine. It saves you a lot of TP. It really does. Let me explain who this is. Uh, my name is Scott Ackerman, if I didn't say that before. Uh, but uh, I, as serving as sort of in co-host duties this week uh, is someone that we haven't checked in with for a, a, a while. And I wanted to see how her core was going. Uh, by the way, we hope that you are staying safe out there wherever you may be, hopefully uh, uh, not making too much contact with uh, other human beings. I'm not talking to you, Big Sue. I'm talking to the, the listeners. <laughs> Trust me, I'm not seeing anybody. You're not. Oh, we're gonna, baby. We're going to figure that out. But uh, she is uh, the owner and proprietor of the store Carpets and Rugs down there. Uh, please welcome back to co-host duties our old friend Big Sue. Hello, Big Sue. Hi. Well, yeah, you know, I, you, you're talking about the quarantine. It's a busy, busy time to be bored. It's a very busy time to be bored. It's not busy for your actual business? My business is that of boredom because due to the fact that the store's not getting any action. Well, your your business has, I've always thought, was non-essential and even more so now. <laughs> <laughs> that is not fair. You know, a lot of people need a carpet. Everyone can eat things. The carpet's essential, you know, because the carpet is what keeps your feet from touching on the ground. Mm. That's true. I mean, if if gravity were not so strong here on Earth. And gravity. Gra- <laughs> is that a John Mayer? It's turning against me. <laughs> but were it not so strong, were it m- more akin to perhaps the moon or Mars, uh, yeah. perhaps we wouldn't need carpets. But as it is, these feet, unless you jump up really high like Air Jordan, I've been watching The Last Dance, by the way. I'm oh, sure he you can, can tell. jump. Yep. Um, we are tethered to the ground, are we not? We are. You know, the gravity inside our bones 
Don't mention bones, actually. I'm scared of that skeleton. Oh, but no. But I'm getting a little nervous. But the gravity is what keeps us down. You know, many people think it's the shoes. But it's not the shoes. Sure, take those it- shoes off. You won't just float up into the sun. You need the shoes, but your body will stay on the ground without the shoes. And I'm learning that in quarantine because I'm not wearing shoes at home. You're not really. What is that a choice or is that because you don't have any any longer? I gave all my shoes as as money when I was trying to pay my bills from my carpet rug store. <laughs> I see. So your your landlord took shoes as a form of payment? His name is Mr. Zappos. <laughs> oh, okay. I was going to say, if you had some some rare shoes, like the, uh, what are the shoes that uh, that guy, Con- do you know that guy, Kanye West? Who? <laughs> this guy, he's this guy, Kanye. His name is Con- he's Kanye. He's your friend? It's an inexplicable first name, I know, Kanye. He's your friend? He's not, no, he's not a friend. He's actually more of a well-known celebrity. But uh, uh, why were we talking about? It? Oh, he has he has some shoes that he uh, designed that I believe are worth a lot of money. What are, and, what are and his the shoes? The aforementioned Air Jordan as well. Oh wow! You know my shoes weren't worth a lot. They were some old kids, sopping wet kids. Oh, they were wet. Oh, they were sopping. Oh, squish, squish, squish. That's they right. Were. One thing we should mention about Big Sue is the fact that your carpet store flooded approximately f- five or six years ago. <laughs> yeah, due to my duty, actually, in <laughs> yeah. the toy toy. <laughs> I made a big poo poo. It went cripple up, and the toilet got full. <laughs> a lot of onomatopoeia on this show at this point. <laughs> because I understand the sounds more than the words at this That's point. That's right. So your store has been flooded for uh, almost a decade at this point, and mm, uh, rounding of- up. Rounding up generously. <laughs> <laughs> sure, although I feel like the first time you were on the show was close to a decade. It does, I mean, time flies. Possibly. It but, does. I'm trying to catch it. <laughs> don't don't try to catch the coronavirus. That's the one thing I'm that we don't want to I'm not trying to catch that, but I am on Grinder. <laughs> oh, you are? Really? <laughs> yeah. Are you dating? I wouldn't call it dating. I would call it getting mine. <laughs> <laughs> so you're just taking your fair share? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How are, are you out there? Are you getting no some action? I, of course, I'm staying home. What is it like to be quarantined in a wet carpet store? Well, you know, I, you, everyone's calling it core. They're calling it the teen. I'm calling it ranty. Ranty because of the the syllables after qua <laughs> and before na. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's going to catch on. Okay, so ranty, ranty is what you're calling. So my ranty's been a little rough, a little boring, I should say, but Are you I'm spending eating. it alone? I'm spending it alone, but I have a couple employees who do come to the store and check in every once in a while, and they make sure I'm doing okay. And they bring me my groceries, you know, all the things I need. Sure. Well, like, for instance, I would imagine your favorite food. What? Pizza? <laughs> Why did it take you so long to remember that? Because I was thinking about my poise pads that they delivered me. So when I jump and my bladder leaks, I have those on. I but see. I was thinking, I can't jump into a poise pad. But no, I have I have um, a pizza. Yeah, they bring me pizza. They bring me DiGiorno's. They bring me um, home running. They bring me delivery of DiGiorno. Right, sure. They literally are. You, when the <laughs> eternal question of delivery or DiGiorno's comes up, you can just say both. I just say, yep. What do you like in a pizza, by the way? Uh, I'll give you a couple hints. Sure. I like it round and real thick and juicy with some tomato sauce, cheese, pepperoni, and a little topping of sausage. If I feel like it, if I want to get a little crazy and I feel like it, then I'll put some sausage on the pizza. <laughs> Well, how how did you react to the news that we all had to stay I- I- indoors here? I cried. <laughs> but because you wanted to actually I cried because I knew my business would be doing worse and the carpets haven't dried in 10 years. You know, do you think they're going to dry in Ranty? It's not going to happen. Right, yeah. Cuz I got to use a toilet. What how how many have you actually sold? Counting in, all the all the rugs and carpets I ever sold. Yeah, uh, let's count. Let's take it from the beginning. Okay. <laughs> count up the the your total oeuvre of carpets and rugs that you've sold the entire time you've been open. 
Am I on Shark Tank right now? You are, yeah. <laughs> and I'm willing to give you $3.5 million for 20%. If Whoa. You have the, if you have the right answer. Okay. Um, over the years I've been working on my company, Carpets Rugs Down There, mm-hmm. I have had many sales over the time. And the amount of sales that I've had is, is 20 units. Tw- you've sold only 20 carpets and or rugs? Well, I didn't say what a unit was. What is a unit? Could be anything, really. Tell me what it actually is instead of what it could be. What is a unit to you? My shoes. (laughs) You sold your shoes to Mr. Zappos. So you haven't sold any carpets nor rugs. Well, I wouldn't say nanny. I would say some. (laughs) (laughs) I wouldn't say nanny either. (laughs) I said none. I haven't sold none, but perhaps you could say I've sold some. I would not say that if it were not true, because I do not lie on this show. You don't lie? I have never lied on this show to anyone. What? I'm going to find a clip where you lied. Find any clip of me lying, and I will give you $3 million for 20% what? of that clip. By the way, I'm out. What? I'm out. This is the worst Shark Tank deal I've ever had. Maybe Mr. Wonderful will still have you. Mr. Wonderful, it's my celebrity crush. Really? <laughs> what is it about Mr. Wonderful? Is it uh, his bald pate, his stern demeanor? I think um, how I could see myself in his dome. Do you not have any mirrors anywhere in the house? Is it, You need to see yourself in his bald head? <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe in mirrors, Scott, because mirrors are where you see the Halloween devil. <laughs> I see. I was watching a movie the other day. I, I believe it may have been uh, uh, Van Helsing. You ever see that movie? I haven't seen that film, though. You have not seen... How many movies have you seen? I have a friend who's only seen one film. (laughs) I've probably seen 20 units. (laughs) What is a unit to you? A reel? Because that's about four films. A unit is a commercial. (laughs) (laughs) I've seen 20 commercials. I can name them for you. Folgers, Milky Way, M&M's, Honda... Uh, commercial for Disney Sing Along on ABC. <laughs> oh, this uh, is recent. <laughs> some are recent, some are old. Um, the more you know, uh, got milk. Uh, mm, something like that. That's seven. <laughs> <laughs> what about that? Uh, where's the beef lady? You ever see that? Where's her beef curtains? <laughs> <laughs> Is that what she, she was talking him. about? She couldn't find him because she had too big of a skirt on. She couldn't. She couldn't get it up. Her skirt, I mean. Okay, I don't know, Big Sue. I don't know if the, the, this is that kind of show. It's not? I don't believe so. But I have to tell you, I came here to tell you about her beef curtains. <laughs> you can, <laughs> Really, what a coincidence that I brought it up and you came here to talk about it. I was sent from Mars to tell you. <laughs> Where the gravity <laughs> is so light. Gravity! You ever see that movie, The Martian? I know you haven't seen movies, me. but... Um, no, I've seen The Martian. You have seen The Martian. What did you think about, about it? It was that movie where Matt Damon wanted to be a Martian. I thought it was an ironic title because they should have called it The Earthling <laughs> because he's he literally was from Earth. But instead, I, I go into... Literally? Literally, he was. I go into this movie thinking I'm about to see the world's greatest movie about a real Martian. And instead, it's about this Earthling who just happens to be on Mars. Yeah, you know, I've had a lot of complaints about movies like that. Movies where you think one thing's going to happen and another thing happens instead. Like that movie, um, what that movie Big, where you think that guy is going to be a, a guy forever, but he ends up just being Well, a you think again. he's going to be a giant. You think he's going to be, you know, 20 feet tall and instead he's just old. They should have called it Old Guy. Yeah, and you, don't get me started on Captain Phillips. Don't even get me started on that that volleyball. Why didn't the, the volleyball has not worked since Castaway? <laughs> He's been typecast because they always think a volleyball can only play a volleyball. That's not true. It's not true. He could be no. so many things. He could be, and he's funny too. But we shouldn't let human beings play volleyballs because no, we need our volleyball actors to work. Have you seen Wilson's web web series? Which Wilson are you talking about? The volleyball or? The guy from Home Improvement. <laughs> okay. <laughs> How do we know that wasn't the same guy? You know what's crazy in the web series? You kind of don't know it's him because you see his chin. You see so his I've, chin? So I think I don't buy it. Different guy. What's he got on that pussy tickler? <laughs> 
<laughs> he, well, it's funny because the whole web series, he's going, where's the beef? And then he cuts it with that commercial and the lady goes, where's the beef? And then he goes, I'm trying to find out. My pussy tickler wants to touch it. Well, I hope you're keeping yourself <laughs> safe, <laughs> Big Sue. I mean, I, I'm I, not. Germs are flying around us all. I'm wearing a mask. I'm wearing a helmet. You know, I try to do everything I can do. What kind of mask are you wearing? I mean, because that's you're on the video conference right now, and I can see you're not wearing like you're wearing a Halloween mask. What what exactly is that? This is a mask of a creature from a movie. <laughs> Which creature? Which movie? <laughs> My two follow ups. <laughs> The creature is Shredder from Ninja Turtles. Oh, I just had that movie explained to me recently on a recent <laughs> show. Yes, I'd never seen it. What did you learn, Scott? Shredder, if I'm not mistaken, he's a rat who trains them. Is that right? Um, is, is that Shredder or what's the other guy? Who's the rat who trains them, which was based on Stick from the Daredevil mythos? There's Shredder and there's the other guy whose name is also with an S. I got. I gotta know this. Shredder, Splinter. Splinter. I didn't even Google. That's right. Okay, that's Splinter. Who's Shredder? Shredder is uh, the bad guy who has a mask. Oh, he has. A, is he a turtle as well? I no. He's a man. I cannot believe that this is the second episode where someone is explaining the Ninja Turtles. What, do you to know me. about April? Uh, April is uh, the the human being that they uh, have some sort of emotional bond with. Is that She's correct? So beautiful, Scott. Is that your type? I wish I could be her, yeah. yeah the type of woman that you want to be. That's exactly what I'd I'm trying to I'd have to shrink say. my lips down. Yeah, you have big, uh, there's no other way to describe them, but like DS lips? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is no, there's no other way. There's literally no other way to say that. DS lips. It's Nintendo DS lips. <laughs> Well, look, Big Sue, we have to we have to get on with the show if that's okay. That's fine. Uh, we have to get to our our uh, guest of honor. Uh, not that you're not a guest of honor, certainly, but you are. Uh, uh, I'm a, I'm the I'm the I'm the master of ceremonies and the starter of the parade. You're like Master Splinter. You're master master of ceremony. Splinter. I'm Master Splinter. Um, uh, master of ceremony. Scat Cat, of course. All of the masters of ceremonies. Yeah. That uh, have have it's a rich showbiz tradition, of course. Uh, and speaking of rich showbiz traditions, we need to get to our uh, uh, first guest who is is just uh, immersed in showbiz traditions. Mm -hmm. He has had a career that's lasted three decades, Oof. which is incredible. Yes. Yeah. Uh, he, he was my co-star on one episode of Just Shoot Me uh, <laughs> back in the 90s, yeah. I believe. Uh, please welcome to the show. First time on the show, and, and we're so lucky to have him, David Spade. Hello, David. Why don't they reboot that episode? Yes, just that episode. Yeah. Let's just do that one. Do you? Do you? Now, I, I, if I say the title, you may remember it. Maya's nude photos. Oh, how could you forget? <laughs> it was something about her nude photos. It definitely was about that. <laughs> now we never shared the screen. I must say, were you uh, Maya's my... boyfriend or something? No, I was in her class, in her photography class, uh, <laughs> and uh, yes, and I had and I had a lot of uh, very funny lines that the the writer supplied for me, and it was a, a fun time, and you were very nice. Oh, good. Uh, backstage, you know, it's and, funny. Uh, this girl came on there once, and I don't mean to interrupt you, but they uh, this girl came on and did her little bit, and at the end of the week, she was leaving. She goes, "You know, it's funny. Um, you never hit on me, and then." My manager, agent, boyfriend, and 70 other people said you were going to hit on me all week. <laughs> I go, well, yeah. you're doing the show. What am I supposed to do? I'm just trying to be nice. She goes, you were very nice. And then now I'm like offended. Am I ugly? Was she trying to get you to? <laughs> I don't know. It was or... a weird spin at the end. I go, okay. And she's like, I guess this is it. I'm like, <laughs> I wasn't. You have to pick up on these signals. I, you better. know what I happened? Think... Hulu, they just told me last night, the guy that did Steve Levitan, remember him? Yeah. Mm -hmm. He hit me up and Wendy Malik hit me up and said they're going to put it on Hulu. Oh, good. I didn't know so, that. So maybe it's going to be on Hulu. We can all see Scott's big episode. I yeah. can't wait. Oh, my God. What was your character, Scott? Uh, I, believe my, you I believe my character's name was Greenberg because I think they thought I was Jewish. And <laughs> they uh, <laughs> uh, uh, Steve Levitan was a, a big Mr. Show fan and uh, so had a lot of us Mr. Show people on. Uh, and, and everyone was extra nice to me because of that fact, I believe. Well, even though 
uh, I, I had one of my worst showbiz experiences, uh, which was uh, the the second or the first night, night of rehearsal. We stopped rehearsal. They gave me a call sheet. I looked at my call time and it said like 10 a.m. I arrived at 10 a.m. the next day and everyone was very upset at me because my call was 7 a.m. And I and. I said, I, I swear the call sheet says 10 a.m. And I went and got it. They had given me the day, the call sheet from that day, the day before. And all I, and I, I, I showed it to them like it was proof. I'm like, yeah. see? And I'm just showing them the call sheet that I, that I already had, you know, basically. Yeah. So and did just, David, and did David ever hit on you on the show? <laughs> David, never, David never hit on me. And everyone said he was oh, going to. And I didn't understand you're what ugly. was going on. He must have thought yeah. you were ugly. And then Scott ran over to the PA and go, <laughs> Fire that person. That's the person, not <laughs> That's me. That's the person who gave me the yeah. wrong thing. No, they were they were all begrudgingly like uh, they knew I was doing a pretty good job on the show, so they were like, uh, "All right," and they couldn't replace me. I guess mm. too late. Point. You know, it's yeah. funny you bring up Mr. Show because a great show and b uh, I I in the wrong Missy. They people are saying I look between Bob Costas and Bob Odenkirk. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind you of sort true. yeah. Kind of, I especially like it. like with everything Bob has to go through to like sort of get in physically into character on Better Call Saul. Yeah, that's what they said. A little Better Call Saul, a little Bob Costas, and yeah. a little but anybody else that looks sort of pale and stupid. Well, speaking <laughs> of the movie, let's talk about it. The Wrong Missy is out on Netflix right now. I just saw it this morning. Wow, it sounds good. No. You think it sounds good? Just off the yeah, title? Yeah, just the title. Yeah, shit. <laughs> If I if I could sort of describe this movie, and I know you would do a better job than me, but uh, it, it concerns your character who uh, goes on a trip to Hawaii with uh, the actress Lauren Lapkus, mm -hmm. who is essentially just playing herself the entire time. <laughs> this is like the the closest it, uh, she's ever done to her actual personality mm -hmm. on screen. Yeah, is that pretty much that's what it is? Pretty much in a nutshell. This said Lauren. It was like the fighter where she didn't know we were doing a documentary about her. And she was just like, just be yourself, Lauren. And she goes, this is for a big Netflix movie. <laughs> and it came out today as a documentary. <laughs> this is Lauren Lapkus. This is what improv can do to you. <laughs> now, she, she, that is that's sort of the idea. The, the idea is we have a crazy uh, date. I don't know if it was a Tinder day. Originally, I thought it was a Tinder day, but may, what is it? Your, I think. I, I think from what I read online, yeah, you read? your gra <laughs> your grandma set you up because I actually don't know if it made it into the film, but there was a part I heard online that that there was said that you met a Jiffy Lube. You met a I met oh, your met grandma. Jiffy I mean, Lube. Missy met your grandma yeah. Jiffy Lube. And you, That's right. you get to read everything online. You get a lot of info yeah. online. I read a lot of backstory you, on movies I don't want to watch right now. I want to know everything before I go in. You just read the recaps. Yeah. I want to know what was cut, what won't I see. <laughs> yeah. And then My I friend in. tells me, because he watches every preview and everything, and then he asks 100 people, I go, just see it. Like He goes, it's still on the fence. I go, Jesus, there's no surprises. <laughs> people are even mad that they go, someone goes, what's it about? And I go, I, there's two girls and one's a little bananas and I... I meet another one, so I text her. I'm really, I realize I'm texting the other one. He goes, oh, fuck. Well, now I don't have to see it. I go, well, it, it's not the end. Oh, there's more than that? I go, I, not much, but yeah, there's a little more. <laughs> what if that was it, though? You just text the wrong person. You go, oops. oops. And then, the movie and then, then goes, erase it credits. immediately. <laughs> credits go down. <laughs> I like when the, the actress, Lauren, <laughs> it was a little pain in the behind, if you ask me. But uh, mm, yeah, that's what I've heard. We were out, I worked with her once. <laughs> we were out in the uh, in the middle of Hawaii, which everyone's like, "What a dream gig!" We somehow picked Hawaii being cold, and we picked it when it was raining. And I, mean, I guess it rains, but but you're not allowed to complain. And even to other actors, it's the first time they won't even take it. I'm like, "Who can I complain to?" And everyone's like, <laughs> "Literally no one." You're in Hawaii. You're starring in a movie. Yeah, it's perfect. So yeah, how long were you guys there? It was something like. Seem like forever. three months it's or something like that. Yeah, something Maybe. like that in Hawaii. I mean, I read online it was probably like that. <laughs> you are I read reading online. a lot online. Dude, give me some of those websites. I, read, I love websites.com. Well, it's websites where they have all the information. Yeah. <laughs> this is all in the IMDb trivia. Right? I talked to Laura yeah. this morning and she got a very funny review on her <laughs> on her phone. 
It was a text. No, it was a text or it was like a DM. It said, movie. I read it was a DM. Oh, online. Right. Okay. <laughs> it was a DM and it said, movie was funny. Are you ticklish? <laughs> and, uh, she goes the reviews are in <laughs> and then i'm waiting for mine to see if i'm ticklish i wonder if she is ticklish well you have to tickle her and find out i, I, <laughs> I don't know I challenge every to. i challenge everyone to do it but that one day the girl i don't know if you read about this uh on, i did on the website probably we had <laughs> i did probably that we there's things called what did you read? They were called potholes or something, or it's something I never sinkholes. Sinkholes. I've heard about you driving in the street and the street gives in and like a car drives in, which is right. maybe yes. the worst way to go in the world. Like later world, like wait, did the world <laughs> just open? Oh, and then it's over. Then you're in the center of the earth, and then the, so it's so scary. So, but sinkholes, I guess, are just like pockets of it. Looks like a little puddle, and there's a thing online. I think Tyler, the director, saw where someone. You dove in one, and then you went to an underground tunnel to find it. Come up somewhere else in the goddamn world. Wait, that was that was actually real in the film. I thought it was some sort of a special effect. Where well, in the in the movie, she falls in one and pops out of another one, and it's <laughs> so see. gross. Yeah. Even that was scary for the lady. I heard. I read that the lady <laughs> had to get covered in mud and go into a big, um, big dump, big dump dumpster <laughs> in the ground. <laughs> I don't know if you read that right. I, she, <laughs> Was she in a big dumpster? I know they just like, hey, Lauren looks too okay. Can we pour poop on her head? Or does anyone have some live <laughs> diarrhea flying out of their butt? Because it was one day when we haven't made her like feel horrible, look bad. By the way, pre-COVID, there was no rules. It was like. No was, rules. You could do whatever you want. Are you scared of COVID, lady? Uh, <laughs> big Sue is, is who we're talking to right now. Sue. Oh, yeah. Big oh, Sue. Big Sue. I'm. <laughs> I'm not scared of COVID, but I don't want it. I'll tell you that much. But I'm staying inside. I'm staying inside. I'm wearing my mask. I'm staying inside. I'm wearing my, my splinter from Ninja Turtles mask. I have it on. It covers my whole head. You seem like people say you could be anywhere from 30 to 70. How old are you? Exactly. <laughs> and people say I look better with my splinter mask on. So fuck them all. Is splinter one of the... Uh... A rat? Oh, we've already gone through all He's this. a rat. He's a he's rat. He's a rat, but oh, he's Splinter's the bad, the bad guy. guy rat. Oh, yeah, he's a rat. You know what? And, and Master Shredder is the You know the what good the guy. turtles should do to update it is uh, make a murder hornet one of the bad guys. I mean, this is uh, somehow I, I have this a podcast hornet. is turning into a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles podcast. Pitch we've, yeah. We've, 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 I have a murder talk hornet. About it every week. I caught a murder hornet in my ass this morning. <laughs> Was it a hemorrhoid? <laughs> <laughs> hey la, 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 la. so uh, uh this was obviously this is another movie that you've done for netflix under the happy madison banner with adam sandler your old friend from saturday night live yes. of course the classic the classic years as we call them the uh the early 90s we call them the good years right after the really good years <laughs> <laughs> Are you sitting there at home sort of like, do you, first of all, do you ever watch the show as a viewer? And if so, do you like judge the seasons and the casts the way that fans do? Uh, I judge everything, but quietly, but uh, SNL I know is tough. So I know that some things aren't going to work and some will. And even if you had two takes, it would probably be a better show because sometimes <laughs> you're like, you've been in an acting class where you start a take or even like in a scene in a movie, you go, I just started wrong. Let me start over. Uh, but once you start, you're in the middle of it going, I don't even, I can't believe we're doing this. I just started wrong and this is all messed up and I'm not into it at all. And here we go. And then it's over. It's so fast, by the way. Like by the time you walk out there and then it's good nights, it's so quick. Uh, that wasn't your question, but I, do you, do you think, it, do you think anyone would watch the show if it were not live, if it were just a taped sketch show though? You know, My theory is that, is that the live element is the only reason why people watch it. I think a live element sounds interesting on the surface but i sort of wish but in practice yeah it's frustrating it just by the way it just looks like every other show but not as good because you didn't they got all the <laughs> takes but when you watch the show it doesn't look really that live it could have been taped a week ago you know i like the ones where they're oh. at home because i could see where they all live right you've been able to ascertain their addresses from what you were telling me off air you look i'm going visiting i'm going knocking you look if you look for mail on the desk, then you can find addresses. 
<laughs> right. <laughs> Any magazine subscription, yeah. it, it actually has the sticker on I it. I have to get out of here early because I'm driving over to Jimmy Fallon's house. <laughs> <laughs> I saw his address. Who is your, uh, we, we've talked about this over the years uh, with people who have been on SNL as well. Horatio, I think we started doing it with. Who is your, the? if you could pick seven people to be on SNL? Oh, a dream with. team? Yeah, the dream mm. team. You know, it's funny. They always do this with basketball. They, they You go on these basketball, like uh, Big Sue, you might not do this, but I... I do. You'd be surprised what I do. <laughs> yeah, I would be, be really surprised. Yeah. So the, to get people, because I guess you get in the algorithm if you get more comments. So literally NBA ones will be like, Scotty Pippen's better than uh, Charles Barkley. And then it's like, like 23,000 comments. You go, this is the dumbest trick in the book. And they do it every day. <laughs> what, what do you think? And they're like, the disrespect. And they just go on. And they, people are fighting all day. I go, what are you fighting about? Some dummies set you up and now you go crazy. Uh, it works for my company. I have, a, I have a rug store called Carpets Rugs down there. You might not be familiar, but the rugs are sopping wet. So on my Instagram to try to sell some of these rugs, I'll put a, I'll put a yes or, you know, a, a this or that kind of question in the comments. Like, would you rather have diarrhea all in your rugs or piss? And then people can kind of decide which they'd rather buy. Yeah. But this is an actual question that you need to know the answer to. Would you I need to know now. Diarrhea or Wilt Chamberlain. Uh, you can mix <laughs> so, it up. Uh, but yeah, that sounds great though. I'm not skipping so, your question, but big yeah, silly. but, and what one person has to do update, uh, who, who would you actually do it with? Would you do it with the people that you actually did it with? Or would oh, you would I be choose a, throughout the years? I, I'm not you, a, uh, as they say on those things, I'm not a first time hall of famer, first ballot. <laughs> That's what they say on these sports shows. No, this guy's a right. first ballot hall of I, famer. You've heard all those. I know sports. Of course you're looking at me thinking I don't know sports, but I know what sports is. I would say, shoot. It's tough. Bill Murray would be on. Bill mm. Murray, okay, he's number one. God. First, first round draft pick, God Bill Murray. Dang, this is tough. He should, he should do his character from Lost in Translation on this. And uh, I don't know. Um, <laughs> tell you, tell you what, I'll say you can, you can uh, uh, have an exemption. You don't anyone that you actually were on the show with, you cannot mention. Oh wow! So that way we can spare feelings. Okay, so I would say, obviously Pete Davidson. No, I'm kidding. Uh, let's go. Um, let's go. Ackroyd. Okay. With Bill Ackroyd. Murray as a utility guy. Okay. Mm. Bill Hartman. Bill Hartman mm. definitely as another I utility think, guy. I think almost every cast member would pick him. Yeah, it's hard not to. And then I would jump around. I would say maybe Norm for update. Maybe Tina. Um, I would use. Uh, God dang it. A Kristen Wiig. I like McKinnon. <laughs> I take it so seriously. <laughs> oh, throw in Eddie Murphy in the old days. That'd be good. Of course. That's a, that's probably seven. Eesh. Yeah, that's probably seven. I would. Eddie Murphy was really good when he hosted recently. Oh, thank you. That's just an opinion. <laughs> it's just an opinion. Oh, we thought it was a fact. <laughs> I would pick. I would pick. I would pick oh. Charlie Chaplin. Oh, I we're would going pick, way back. Yeah, I would pick. Oh, you can pick uh, anyone on the planet. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Didn't we say that? I would pick ET. <laughs> <laughs> Who's my cast would be ET, <laughs> Michael Jordan, Mac and um, me, <laughs> um, Robin Williams as Mork, um, Alien and Paul. <laughs> Remember Paul the movie Paul? Yeah, of course. Yeah, with <laughs> Trilogy of Terror was a was a TV show when I was a kid that scared the shit out of me when I went to bed. What was the Trilogy of Terror? It was uh, Karen Black was an actress who was actually really yes. pretty uh, from Five Easy Pieces. Yeah, Five Reese's Pieces. Bro. Five Reese's Pieces. <laughs> speaking of ET, <laughs> nah. You oh, have no. you ever eaten Five Reese's Pieces, Big Sue? I only eat 10. You should do the top 10 things to get stuck in carpet. <laughs> okay, top 10 things to get stuck in carpet going now. Um, one, <laughs> diarrhea, two, piss. Okay. I had the to stay up as we already mentioned. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> um, gum, um, um, shoelaces, it could happen. Um, <laughs> A taft tooth snossage. My, that's a good one. My um, my Jello lemonade that I mentioned at the top of the show. Yeah. You weren't here, but I I chew lemonade and Jello every day. Pudding and coffee, 
Um, pubes. Is that, how many is that? Pubes. <laughs> yeah, it's good. You're helping me out. Um, <laughs> Am I not supposed to? Um, gasoline. Um, <laughs> I gasoline. feel pretty good about that list. Holy shit. <laughs> That's it. That's is it. the poster. I think I've seen it on La Brea and it's you and it says, my carpets are wet and you're pointing at your. Yeah, that's actually extremely okay. accurate. You are not wrong. <laughs> yes, we, we've talked about I like carpets. Times. I'm old school. <laughs> you don't like the, you like to have them in your house. I mean, you don't like a hardwood. Um, both. The, I like uh, the incredible questions little, on this show that we're really getting down to. it. I like a little, you know, action down there. Yeah, he likes the he likes the floor to have a little like a runner. Sure. Yeah. What is your what is your quarantine like, David? I mean, I can only imagine uh, you have a, a beautiful house in the Hollywood Hills. Uh, we're getting a shaking of the head. We don't no. want to narrow down higher any kind of address. Higher, higher yeah. than the Hollywood Hills? Are you in heaven? Even better, the higher, higher. I'm on a jetpack with Elon Musk, and we wow. fly around in between Joe Rogan podcasts. <laughs> no, I live basically up in a place called Truesdale. It's basically behind Roku and Sierra Towers. Sure. Do you love being in your home during I Fancy? do like being in my home, and I'm not like a super out there. I do miss restaurants, and I do miss flying to places, and I miss uh, going to see my friends and maybe golfing a little bit, but I can't really – like the restrictions – we just got whomped. Uh, mm-hmm. I don't know. The, uh, when... for, for those of you who don't know, uh, I, I believe L.A. just said that we're going to be still staying at home for another three, three months. months. Is that uh, right? And I, yeah. I, I honestly almost couldn't take it yesterday. I was so freaked out because it hasn't even been three months and I'm falling but, apart. But would you actually go out if they lifted all restrictions? Not me. I'm staying here for the foreseeable the only thing good. The only thing for me that's good is that the movie's out and that people are like, we might have to make them watch it. But like the last dance with Jordan was sort of, you know, like required viewing. But when yeah. they said, and, and our uh, governor was like, listen, I know you're worried, but we're going to open phase one. Things are opening up. And I'm like glued to the TV. He's like, all right, uh, caterpillar sanctuaries, um, <laughs> rock quarries, <laughs> archery repair shop. I'm like, are you joking? He said, he said, model train stores. I go, what, what is one thing that would affect my life at all? I was like, what about restaurants? He's like, Hey, Whoa, Whoa. That's like two years from now. What is the first thing that you want to do the minute we're let out of here? I mean, you know, I did golf last weekend, which is the first like normal thing I've done. Right. I went down. Uh, I, uh, probably I was going to go to Arizona. My mom had back surgery. This is not like the funny answer, but mom had back surgery. I'd like to see her. Because uh, she borrowed some, she borrowed some money, and she hasn't given it back. And I, I, I think in person, <laughs> I think I could rough her up a little bit. It's, it, it is tough. We're not allowed to see our loved ones. I, I went by my mother's house. I was wearing. I, I dropped off like a pot pie that we made for her, and I was wearing a complete mask. And I just dropped it. I waved at her from the window, and that was that was all all we can do because we don't want to get them sick. I do feel for these people. Like my friend's kid is going through a tough time, and. It was her graduation for senior. So no senior trip, no graduation, no prom, all the fun stuff. And when you're like that age, you're so like crazed anyway and stressed about everything and you're on the edge. So that was like really through her loop. Now, those things are tough. They don't sound like it looking back, but it's a big deal. Those are your, the biggest yeah. things in your world back then. Did you go to prom when you were in high school? I did. I did like it. I was, uh, I always asked girls that did not like me back. And I was always a foot shorter, still am, and um, it was always a drag. But I had fun, but I was always hoping, like, they didn't like me at all, but I was hoping that the prom might kick it into high gear, like, they might be like a movie. And like, be just like, the, yeah, you know, this the guy, whole, like, endorphins of the night. You know, and, now that he's in a light blue tux, like, I, I never looked at him <laughs> like this. He cleans up nice, yeah. He like me with nice. Missy. I'm like, you know, Missy, <laughs> I know you dunked my head in the pool and hit me in the face with a bowling ball and uh, smashed me. Push my boss into a volcano, but you know what? <laughs> you're you're cute. I like when I go. I go. That's my boss, and you go. Oh shit! I go. No shit! Oh shit! And you go. Toe shit! No shit! Oh shit! I go. What the fuck are you saying? 
<laughs> was this a was it a, a a fun movie to do with? Uh, I mean, I, I do know Lauren Laff because I worked with her on uh, the movie I directed last year, and Oof. and she's a a great uh, improviser. Uh, it, was there more improvising than nor than on one of the normal Happy Madison productions? I or? think this difference on this one was it wasn't one of the go to guys. Like Sandler has a four picture deal. I wound up with the four picture deal because I just was in four somehow. Uh, right. I backed into it. But I think with that girl, Lauren, is that <laughs> everything was riding on her. And it wasn't someone we've all worked with a million times. And so uh, I thought it was nice that it's a female lead. And it's really her movie. It's really like if she isn't good, which we would know in a couple of days, we'd all be like this day 44 going, oh, no, <laughs> a movie that's going to bomb. Here we go. Because... I've worked with some people, I'm not going to say just actresses, but actors, actors that get coached and they come in and they know their part on sitcoms, anything, and you throw something else at them and they go, well, this is the part I'm doing. And they don't even really <laughs> get it. And then they try it, but they're so locked into a certain way. And that's more than you think. So to get someone that was loose, that just obviously does this so shorthand and does it all the time that it was right up rally wasn't really intimidated wasn't stressed maybe she was but didn't show it and just ran with it ran with that first day we shot was our first big date like in the movie the movie starts on a date pretty much really so you shot it sort of chronologically yeah and that. then uh and we had this long date we did so many takes i would just like to see more outtakes and stuff because i guarantee there were so many times we would crack up in between because it was so that's when i was going oh my god she's bananas because <laughs> just coming up with different stuff. What did you read online about that big story? I read that that was um, <laughs> very fun for her. <laughs> <laughs> what are these websites? Yeah. He sounds so boring. It was fun for her. Even that trailer when you go, you I fucking no. me. Stop. I, f I I read that she was very excited to work with oh, you. Oh, that's good. So it was, it was cool. That's good. Yeah. That's wonderful. Well, yeah. it's, it's, a, it's a great movie. I hope people check it out. She basically uh, had me just, I would just laugh in between takes and then just go again. And I go, <laughs> do that again. I was actually trying not to get in her head because something was so funny. But if you tell people that sometimes, then they lean on it. Like, I think sometimes I would tell her she had a new one and ready to go. And I go, oh, I like when you, and she's like, ah, oh, fuck, do I have to do that one again? Or can I? <laughs> but that, those things, so I tried to stay quiet, but just would say funny and just be general. So she. Was, I heard you were very helpful. Okay, good. That was. <laughs> Well, it is. It's it's a really funny movie, and and uh, both of uh, not only you, but the woman we're talking about, Lauren Lapkus, <laughs> who is I don't I don't know that she's ever appeared on this program, mm. um, are both very very funny, very very funny in the movie. Uh, we need to take a break if that's okay, yeah. uh, mm -hmm. and uh, when we come back, we'll be talking more with David Spade, more with Big Sue, and we have a a, a very surprising guest coming up oh. soon. We'll be right back with more comedy bang bang after this. <laughs> Comedy Bang Bang, we are back here. Uh, of course, we have the great David Spade uh, from Just Shoot Me and Saturday Night Live and Lights Out with David Spade. What's going on with Lights Out with David Spade? Have you have you been Ooh, doing it? Sore sub. Yeah, I know it's a sore <laughs> subject, but I, are no, you I selling it, it somewhere else? I or? did it, and then we went to, uh, and then the disease hit. It's not a disease, it's a virus. And then... Then the virus hit after the disease, and then we all shut down. So they said, do it. I did out of here. I would interview some people here in this little office. Everyone's scrambling. Like, I just did a monologue, and then I would interview two comics, and they would put online, just like, let's just tread water. And then Viacom <laughs> was crumbling because they're just losing so much money because these shows. So they just said, we got to get rid of you. I was like, it was really, because we were going till July. I'm like, Oh, wait, like for good? And they're like, yeah, guy. So it was. Yeah, guy is how they break it to yeah, you? They, go, they have a person come in to relate to teens. He's like, yeah. Right. <laughs> Looks like it's curtains. So uh, I was like, wow. Speaking of curtains, beef curtains. Big Sue. Yeah, we, we were, were talking, talking about, about before you got before. here, we were talking about, well, we were saying that the Where's the Beef lady was actually asking about her own. <laughs> so her own beef, beef curtains. curtains. <laughs> Where's the beef curtains? Big Sue, is there any porn you don't like? <laughs> or is it all. Horses. Oh, really? Horses. horses. That's not really. Oh, yeah, I guess maybe. Dude, if you type, is that a, I, is it illegal? Is I think is, it is. Yeah. Okay. If you love, if you're in love, it's not. No. I've never seen much like the Air Bud clause. You, there's nothing in the rule book against it. I don't know that there's what? any law is on the books. Is someone fucking Air Bud? 
I, that's what I heard. Air I Bud I the no dog? Idea. Yes. The one from Air Bud 6 or Air Bud 3? <laughs> I, I believe, don't know if it's the same one who made it through all the films. I don't think so because I believe Air Bud had his uh, paw amputated after approximately two movies and then they had to replace from Air From spinning Bud. the basketball on it? Yes. Which actually, <laughs> in The Last Dance, I hear that uh, that's going to be the last episode. Air Bud's in The Last Dance? No, Michael Jordan gets his hand amputated because of spinning oh the basketball. Oh, my God, I'm on number seven. Okay, uh, I don't mean to spoil it for you. Uh, but. Pippin, I'm watching Pippin not go in when they pull them. It makes you miss a live sporting event to oh watch like some of the greatest I ones. I miss germs. <laughs> well, speaking of germs, we do need to get to our next <laughs> guest, uh, and which is an actual segue because uh, this person... Uh, it has been uh, afflicted with so many germs over the years. Oh. Uh, but when the quarantine happened, of course, we all bring our loved ones close to us. Uh, I, the first person I reached out to is, uh, uh, was, of course, my parents. Uh, uh, but then eventually down the list, I got to this gentleman. He is my uh, ex-stepfather. He was married to my mother for approximately six months, I believe. Six back glorious then. months. Yes, it was wonderful. That's right. Approximately a couple of decades ago. But we've kept in touch. He's been on the show many times. Please welcome back to the show, Bob Duca. Hello, Bob. Hello. Hello. It's wonderful to see you all. You know, this is, this is, it's, I know this isn't real human contact, but uh, it's the closest thing I've had in a long time. And it feels so very, very good. And I appreciate being here. Hi, Here. Bob. Hello. Yeah, this is Big Sue. This is David Spade. Hello. I don't know if you've ever had uh, uh, occasion to run into either of them in your travels. I have not. No, no, no. I haven't. <laughs> Scott, how, how is your mother? She's great. Don't worry about her. Uh, she's <laughs> she's moved on. She's happy. She's uh, hunkering down. Everything's fine. We're worried about you, Bob. Where are you transmitting from? Uh, well, I'm currently in a uh, basement um, of, and I need to keep it down because they don't know that I'm here, but I've been self-quarantining here in this basement. Uh, and I have to say that my life is not that different in quarantine. Uh, it's not. Yeah, I was going to say you're usually in basements. I'm usually in basements. Anyway. I'm usually very lonely because of a condition called uh, early onset annoying to others. I, I have had to stay <laughs> away, like ten feet away from people for for a very long time. <laughs> this was by their choice. It's not by the medical profession. That's right. Advice. This, this That's is a right. little like Parasite, where they're in the basement. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you see that movie? Me. Yeah, sure. I'll I'll take uh, I'll take it from everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, David has because he knows the major plot point. Yeah. Unless he'd watch watch the trailer. Yeah. Uh, no, I I haven't, I haven't seen the parasite because I know so much about it. You the know, I have so many. Side. I have I have so many parasites. <laughs> I'm actually, you, yeah, I'm actually, sure you were intrigued by the title. I was intrigued by the title, but once I saw it was fiction, I was like, you know, yeah, I, I, I what I deal with in my own body is far more complex than, than this. In fact, I started naming my tapeworms. Because I'm so lonely. <laughs> really? What names do you have at this point? Uh, 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 Michael Barbaro. Um, <laughs> let's see. Claire Tennisgetter. Uh, um, um, Chloe Sevigny. <laughs> that Those sounds three. like an actress. I was going to name it Boys Don't Cry, but it was too hard to, to get that out. <laughs> what? So, so how are you taking this? I mean, we're all worried about you. You're one of the most... If people haven't heard Bob on the show, uh, uh, you're one of the most... Uh, sickly hypochondriacs mm. that I've ever met. You seem to be afflicted with so many diseases. Uh, well, not to brag, but I'm in several medical texts as as an anomaly for how frail frail I am. And Scott, I wish I had better news for you, but uh, I am am not feeling well. I, I this this new era has put me into uh, exposed several other ailments and diseases that I have. Oh no! I actually oh. prepared a list. I don't know if you. Oh, well, allow so me to read some of these because I, I think of some of diseases you yeah, some of the listeners may also be suffering from this. And I think the more sure. we get attention on these things, the, the more we can struggle. Sure. I mean, yeah, we, we have time. Uh, uh, let, let's hear the list of other diseases you have right now. Thank you. The following is a list of symptoms and ailments that I have developed since quarantine started. Dry cough, persistent fever, sore throat, fatigue. Glove warts, moist nostril, yeasty sinus, hot stash, oily soul patch, spaghetti ache, noodle bloat, loneliness, <laughs> tennis elbow, fetal position neck, sab ribs, pillow clutch shoulder, zoom gloom, 
Zoom glue. I have Zoom glue. <laughs> yes, yes. A uh, Zoom groom for me is when I, I just can't stop looking at myself and thinking how ugly I am. Uh. Whenever I'm on a Zoom call, mm-hmm. I just focus so on I, I'm focus on different. I, I understand. I yeah. that. In the history of human beings, you're, I mean, you're a three, at least. <laughs> I mean, when you think about like how cavemen evolved, they, you know, from the end. Oh, yeah. I like to consider myself the one that's just crouching. Sure. <laughs> and that evolution thing, I'm, I'm like just, I'm like, I'm two after the fish. <laughs> Mass grash, bandana rosacea, tomato stigmata, harsh scarf, <laughs> bouchy ouchy, biblical plague fatigue, end times hives, joy blight, lockdown jaw, and I suffer an addiction to CDC 3P opioids. <laughs> I mean, it's it's awful, Scott. This is all stuff that has come up since being sequestered. Exactly. I mean, the, the, yes, this is post sequestration. Yes. Post-sequestration. It sounds like you're in a lot of pain, buddy. A lot of pain. Uh, I, 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 I am a reverse empath. <laughs> you I don't feel pain. I don't <laughs> feel other sure people's pain. I feel my pain times ten. Mm. Can you say empath backwards? Yeah, I'm a... <laughs> I feel like we're on Twin Peaks or something. Mm-hmm. Bob, I feel bad that you're so lonely. <laughs> I don't know why I had a big uh, pause in between lone and lee. Because you were actually uh, saying alone, apostrophe L-O-N-E. That's right. You're so lone. I, I wish you had friends around you, friends. Like, like what is Kevin Fuck up to? <laughs> Kevin Fuck is very busy. He's very busy. He's uh, What's he up? Yeah, what's he doing? You know, he opened up a line of bunker foods. Uh, so he's actually doing great right now. You know, for, for survival. What kind of food? Yeah, what does he say? Oh, well, he's got uh, ramens, of course, uh, uh, instant oatmeal, bovine water, floor cheese, um, nuts. <laughs> uh, no, he doesn't serve nuts. I just, I drop something. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> but, so he serves no nuts. If you no. ask him for nuts, he will not be able to no, bring them no, over no. to you. But you can also get from him uh, the following jerkies, beef. Turkey, buffalo, scab, <laughs> and herky. Uh, you know, a lot of things. It dried fruit, especially dehydrated pineapple rings, a.k.a. wizard buttholes or burning man <laughs> somersaults. <laughs> lots, lots and lots of different things. Lots of stuff. So, yeah, he's so doing Kevin Fuck is stuff. doing just fantastic. Although I do have some bad news. Oh, no. What's going on? Oh, My no. friend Odell Cigarette is no longer with us. He died. Odell Cigarette died? What did... Not of uh, COVID-19, I no, hope. No. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. In a way, it doesn't matter how right. he died because he he died. Well, it does kind of matter. He Ironically, he burned to death in a fire. Oh, no. Yeah. because Ironic because of his last name or for some other reason? <laughs> well, his father's a fireman. Oh, so That's triple irony. The ultimate irony. irony. Triple irony. Oh my God! Mm. Yeah. So did did his his father's a fireman? You said yeah. Did it, did his father have to put him out? He did not have that honor. They weren't getting along at the time. His father was the first responder, first one to show up, but they were in a feud. So, uh, oh, so he just Odell said, Odell said off, "Yeah, I'm you not stay away anything. from me," and that's probably what did him in, to be honest. <laughs> oh no, poor Odell! You know, pride beca- wow. pride comes before the fall, or in this case, the long simmering slow. Fire death. Do you still have feelings for the mother? Oh, absolutely. You never, you know, with a love like that, you, you it, it never really fully goes away. She, you were only married to her for six months, and from what I understand, it was some sort of mistake marriage. How do you mean? Well, I, she, she tells some story about how she was backed into a dark room, and she thought it was a surprise birthday party, and then suddenly. She she got married and she had you know well you know I Surprise come from a wedding. long yeah I, <laughs> I come a, a, from a long line of uh, uh, merchant marine sailor so I, I had what what is called a Shanghai wedding mm. <laughs> where she thought she was going into a tavern but uh, instead she got married to me and you know I it, it, you say it was just a short period of time six months by the by the calendar but in my heart. We died together of carbon monoxide poisoning after having a long, <laughs> fruitful marriage. That's okay, the plot well. for Rush Hour 3. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they have a Shanghai wedding, then they go into the garage. That's right. What happened to Chris Tucker, by the way? We should really be talking about him. Is he okay? Yeah, would, would Chris be. Tucker be on your SNL top seven? Or tall Chris Rock, as I call him. What <laughs> is up? 
Uh, oh, he's taller than Chris Rock, isn't he? I I think so. <laughs> Bob is a big uh, pop culture aficionado. Big Sal, you're tall. Is Chris Rock? But only with yeah. height. Yes. Is he, Chris Rock? I'm I'm a very long woman. I'm a very long woman. But is Chris Rock tall? That's my favorite. <laughs> is Chris Rock tall? Chris Spade. Chris Rock. Mm, I mean, taller than me. He's probably five. Is he shorter than me? Five, <laughs> you interrupted before. He just said five, he's, and you thought that he's you thought that was taller old. than David. No, he's uh, five ten. He's not that tall. Sandler's about right. five Whoa. eleven, maybe five ten. I mean, I could talk about the heights of uh, SNL all people day. all day, but we, but we do need to take a break. That's okay. <laughs> uh, when we come back, we are going to be still talking to David Spade. We'll have Big Sue and Bob uh, yes. stick around because we need to to get you know figure out exactly where you're at. Yeah, I, and I, get closure I, on you. Uh, yeah, I, I have some more things I'd love to talk about, and uh, if you got just I, I have it, but just uh, remind me of your mom's current phone number. Remind me. I, I, I might have to do that off air, if at all. No, and I okay. don't believe I will be doing that. Fair okay, enough. let's go to a break. When we come back, we'll have more uh, Comedy Bang Bang after this. Bye, 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 bang. <laughs> comedy Bang Bang, we are back here. David Spade uh, of the uh, SNL years, the good years after the great years. Uh, what years were you actually on that? Well, if I had to guess, 90 through 95. Wow. Is that right? Oh, yeah, you know. Wrong. So... Odenkirk was there when I got there. It was probably 90, 91 season. Uh, I did a f- couple shows and then came in for uh, five years. I think, yeah, because I think I started just shooting me in 96 or 97. Did you nail it, Scott? You just got it exactly right. Now, did yeah, you Google it? That's you pretty good. It. I was like, I was trying to go, when was it? But uh, had, had Bob Odenkirk developed his famous catchphrase at that point? The God damn it. <laughs> that's what he says all the time. Oh, Davey. Hey. Uh, hey, buddy. Hey. Um, hey what? what, what's going on, man? It's so, he, he has two different voices. He has yeah. the, the nervous, OCD, shy Bob. Hey, I was just thinking maybe <laughs> you could do this sketch I wrote. And then he's got the God damn it! <laughs> yelling guy. I think he was, uh, I think uh, they got, he got an argument with, with Al Franken once. Actually, <laughs> um, Conan and Bob helped me a lot when I got there. I didn't know how to write. I had a yellow pad. I honestly didn't know as a middle act. They just said, go write sketches in a room. And then they just put you in a room like this with just a wooden desk. See it read through. And I'm like, I don't even know how to name it. How to... I don't know anything. And so I just bombed some shit. But uh, so I'd go ask them, but no one has time to help you. You know, everyone's, they're worried about right. their own job. Get the, and there's not enough time for them. But those guys are pretty nice. Smigel was nice, but he was too good. And he didn't even have time to just hear me out. You know what I mean? Right, yeah, uh, he was too in demand. F- Bob is a Bob is a very very helpful guy to young writers. He always, I, I will say that he he taught me number one, uh, the first sketch I ever wrote for Mister Show. I gave it a funny joke title, and he just said, "We don't do those." Oh, really? Uh, That's funny. <laughs> yes. And then another sketch I wrote ended with me and the other writer accepting Emmys for writing the sketch, and he said, "Ha ha, yeah, everyone does that." Oh, so rough. So those were the two tips. Rough. The two tips that he gave me. <laughs> I've had stuff like that happen where people are writing a sketch. Uh, do you have the Johnson file? And then they go, we don't do that here. <laughs> <laughs> like the, the, but but we, one time, Frank, and God, Sandler knows this story better, but he was getting mad about Whoopi Goldberg and him and Bob striking an argument about if she's a good actress. And I think Bob was going, no, she sucks. And he's like, really? Have you seen Clara's heart? And then uh, he goes, no, she sucks, though. I've seen her in a bunch of shit. She's no good. And I think he's doing it on purpose. He goes, have you seen Clara's heart? <laughs> Dumbest fucking movie. And then we all keep talking. And then Bob goes, Whoopi Goldberg is not. And, and fucking Al Frank goes, have you seen Clara's heart? I think he flipped over the fucking piano and it landed on his foot. No, he flipped over the table and landed on his toe and broke it. It broke. Yeah, and then he got all defending Whoopi Goldberg's <laughs> honor. It's so funny, and I think that's the one where he broke his toe, and we were all like, "Ah!" I think Bob also uh, uh, told me about a story about uh, uh, getting into an argument with a cast member and throwing them against a wall. I never well. told you that story. Oh no, no, I don't mean you, Bob Duke. <laughs> huh? Oh, oh, that was Phil Hartman with Schneider. 
Oh, oh, okay. I be, well, I believe Bob also did uh, uh, threw someone against a wall. Oh, once, yeah. Maybe was, who was well. it? Was it Rob? Wait, oh. Phil Hartman threw Rob Schneider against the wall. <laughs> uh, yeah. Is that the story? It sort of came out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and what was the other one though? No, but I'll what Google was yours? About, is what I want to know. Websites dot com. <laughs> we, is that on websites.com, that one? I'm going to go to websites.com oh, to get, get the info if you it. don't want to share it here. No, it was just there was some misunderstanding. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, a lot of misunderstandings at yeah. the, the world's most tense workplace. Yes. But well, Rob and I got hired together, and we were, it got tense with us, to be honest. And we were good friends, but when we get there, it's just too tough. It's just too stressful. And then. Were you literally hired as a team with him, or, or no? Or, we were or was he a stand-up that you knew? As, yeah, as well we had known each other. And Judd Apatow was around. Sandler, we're all in the valley, so I knew some of these guys. I didn't know Rock, but there was four shows at the end of the year, like May or something like that, and they hired me and Rob, and to be writer, or perform mostly just writer. Then we did the summer, <laughs> and we came back, and Rock and Farley started. And then after a few months, Sandler started. So that started sort of our time, but we didn't all start the same day. And uh, Rob and I were fighting by the next year immediately. But it was sort of a little <laughs> jealousy on my part, if I, if I have to be really honest. Because he had the copy guy the copy who, who guy. took hold immediately. Yeah. And people all across America were saying, making copies, making copies. Yeah, it's actually getting me mad again, yeah. <laughs> I don't yeah, actually, to keep I, it up. I just watched um, the Mighty Ducks, and they referenced it in the Mighty no! Ducks. Isn't that weird? Those motherfuckers. That's, mm -hmm. that's hard to take. I mean, that's just dumb of them. You can tell I'm <laughs> you had, still mad about you had, it. Still you mad. Had, you had bye bye. I had some you know, shit. a lot of people said bye bye. Bye, bye. Oh yeah, we had a thing when I was doing something the other day, and we were deciding if bye bye. They asked me if bye bye or cop machine was bigger, and I was like. Oh. I said, I think Copy Machine was, to be honest, because Bye Bye we only did one. I actually did it twice. But it feels like those ones we did a million times. But it was really just me and Helen Hunt. That was the one that everyone knew. We did it again with Steve Martin, and no one even really saw it. So, <laughs> and, it was, and it bombed. So we did one before the end of the season, and we came back, and everyone's like, you got to do it. And, of course, dive bomb right away, and then I was crickets <laughs> for it. I was in, like, sketch jail after that. <laughs> uh, but I thought uh, Cop Machine was very hooky, very catchy, very fun. So, but we wound up being fine. It's just, you know, it's a tense atmosphere. I don't know if you work on those shows where it's just writers' rooms aren't that fun. And it's just, it's just, I didn't have a glass of water for 15 years. I mean, it's not like <laughs> right. you, I didn't know about anything about food. So that's affecting my mood because I have just pizza, pasta, and cheeseburgers right. every day yes. and a Diet Coke. Not one vegetable. every day. Every day we had Al Wazir every single day. Oh, that's so funny. And uh, and and as much as Mr. Show was sort of supposed to be Bob's reaction to how he wanted to run the room differently than SNL, it's, it still they became just turn into it. They, it just kind of turns into it in a way where, like, I still uh, uh, the only job I've ever had nightmares about is that that show. Oh, wow. it's gotta be well. You <laughs> With, know, that's also a very high quality show that's not corny and. I'm sure if you're working on a cornball sitcom, it's a little easier. Uh, sometimes at SNL, you'd go, you know, they'd pitch ideas and someone will say something and the next guy would go, yeah, that'll get a laugh. And then I go, well, if not one of us 12 laugh. Are you sure it's going to get a laugh? You know what I mean? It just means, well, the dummies, they'll fucking bite on that. It'll, right. it'll be fine. It'll be fine. And people will smile. But, but I don't like when some are a smile. You can say this joke's more of a smiler because people don't, <laughs> but they don't laugh, you know? So it was just tough, but I did learn a lot that was, I didn't need, but I did learn. By the time I left, I had to learn how to write a sketch. Yeah. And then I go, yeah, well, like, have fuck? you ever written a sketch <laughs> since then? I yeah. Mean. It wasn't a sketch boot camp and they pushed me out and go, now I'll go to a movie. I'm like, well, now I don't even know how to do movies anymore. So <laughs> well, speaking of uh, laughing and uh, Rob Schneider, who is also in the movie, the wrong Missy out yeah, right funny, now. Man. Also, we have Big Sue here uh, from Carpets and Rugs down there, uh, uh, seemingly a big fan of websites.com as well as uh, multiple websites about the movie, the wrong Missy. Seemingly, seemingly, you know, but things aren't always as they appear. So I don't even know. Maybe I am. Maybe I'm not. You know, I like to keep a little mystery. What is reality at this point? We don't even know. What is reality? Reality. 
is that's not the gravity song that you were singing against before. me Big Sue, oh. I, since you know so much about websites i'm wondering if you can help me out i've been trying to get a membership to wiki feet but i can't figure out <laughs> how to get the <laughs> application you, you want you uh, want to put up pictures of your own feet or you're trying to look well, at both other I, it feet. sounds like an exciting community <laughs> you have to um you have to type it in with your feet and the computer oh. will know. Oh. oh, so it it knows if it's being pressed by, yeah. by it's like fingers. it's like putting your thumb on an iPhone. You just put your Exactly. Yeah. And I'd use my toe on my iPhone too, just because then really no one can break in because sometimes I think people might have the same fingerprints as me, but nobody's got the same toe print. So I open my phone with my toe every moment. Oh, that's good. Well, you know, I have a line of hobo shoes with the with the front <laughs> missing if the, if you want easier access. I actually need those because I sold all my shoes recently. We call those the Frodo's. Frodo's, yes. Yes. Uh, what, what else is going on with you, Bob? I mean, well, uh, we keeping... worry about you, even even though we're not necessarily close, nor should we be, uh, nor do we want, you know, constant uh, or even repeated contact with you. Or we just uh, deal with this thing head on and you and I hang out all the time and we just sort of <laughs> nip it in the butt. I don't know if I'm going to opt for the latter, but but I still do. I have genuine general concern about all of humanity, and you you fit under that banner. So what what else have you that. been doing? Well, you know, I've been doing things to keep busy, like uh, naming my respiratory droplets and things like that. But most, I'm most excited about my line <laughs> of go bags. Uh, emer- really? What are the, emergency yeah, what are bags? These? No, so these are something you keep in the trunk of your car or by by your front door in case there's an earthquake or, or some sort of catastrophe and you just have everything you need at the ready um and i i have a special line you know many of these things offer the same general things within the go bag but mine are specific. I, I don't know that I, i've ever actually seen go bags advertised nor displayed in any store oh no oh, they're on, on they're, amazon it's like an emergency kit the earthquake I, bag I Another thing. I, I, nor, normally, I think when I think of a go bag, I think of of something that a that a mobster keeps in the trunk of his car in case he needs to abscond quickly. So it has a lot of cash, uh, fake passports. I used to think of swag from that '90s movie Go, uh, that it was like a a, 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 a tote bag did, from Go. With did you go to the premiere of Go? I, I yeah, I catered it. <laughs> you? Did, I don't want to see you catering anything. Well, that's Bob. what they that's... said. That's what they said. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't. That, a, that's a that's a fun new twist on. That's what she said. Tim, Timothy Oliphant kicked me out immediately. He did. Yeah, yeah. he's trouble. I've met him. Yeah, back uh, on the old Indy one hundred three one days when he was the sports guy. That's right. That's right. And David Lynch did the weather. That's right. Yes, and you came on to our show. That's right. Bring it all back around. So tell us about these go Well, uh, uh, just just some of the things. Well, you know what? I I think I should just back up and tell you formally. The following is a list of products <laughs> and items that you might find in the Bob Duca go bag. Maps, toilet paper, work gloves, emergency blanket, emergency bed, emergency 4,000 thread count sheets by Bowl and Branch, Kevlar sleep mask, phone charger, sleeping bag gum, flashlight, matches, candle, glow sticks, glitter, moon rocks, ecstasy, electric daisy festival laminate, a first aid kit, including meat piercing needle and thread, tube tent, wind up radio, propeller beanie, safety goggles, Walton goggins, orange <laughs> whistle, and of course, for quick repairs, you need things like wood putty and these other putties adhesive, <laughs> molding, silly, collier, <laughs> and that's it. Oh, and that's it. <laughs> mm, a short list, indeed. Yeah. <laughs> the, well, I, the the putty list was definitely short. <laughs> well, you know, there, there there are hundreds more putties, but I, I you know, I, I have you just have to have the essentials when you're on the go. Sure, of yeah. course, yeah. Well, Bob, <laughs> I, I hope you're going to be okay. I mean, all of these symptoms. At, at least you haven't contracted COVID, right? Not 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 that I know of. Not that I know of. Uh, I, I, are, are you able to get tested at all? Or well, I. I, I did it. I did what I thought was a drive up testing where where, you know, you, you go and they they stick a uh, large Q-tip up your nose. Sure. <laughs> but then I found out it was a pr- it was not an authorized testing site. <laughs> it was a prank you were going to say? It was a prank or a fetish of some sort. I don't know. It was one of these Internet <laughs> creeps, you know, one of these booty goons that find you on the Internet. You? 
Which, was it one of those things where you said, hey, this isn't for COVID, and then the person said, and that's not a Q-tip either? Well, like you had a dick in your nose? <laughs> sure. Well, my nose hasn't gotten its period in a couple of weeks, so <laughs> it's very possible. <laughs> all right, all right. Look, we're running out of time. We just have one final feature on the show, and that's a little something called plugs. We're in the club, doing some plugs, showing some love. Go to my website www.timetodoesomeplugs.org.com wasn't available. <laughs> oh, nice and nice. short. That was www.timetodoesomeplugs.org by Slow Rider. Thank you to Slow Rider for that submission. The name is half the song. <laughs> is the, yeah, I believe so. That was half the song. <laughs> Um, all right, what are we plugging, David? Obviously, plugging the movie. It's out right now. People can see it. I will tell you that my friend's old, and he goes, uh, he, he was talking to these girls. He goes, these girls that came into, I was eating pizza, and they were talking to me. And he has this website. He goes, and I told him, you know, I go, did you hit on them or whatever? He goes, I told him they got to go on www. Whatever. I go, do you say the W's? And he goes, yeah, you have to. I go, I, I don't think <laughs> no. you have to anymore. He goes, no, you do. It's a... There's three W's. That means worldwide. I go, I know. I don't need it. <laughs> it's interesting how, like, you watch old <laughs> news clips, and when the internet was first invented, yeah. like, br- news anchors trying to explain how to get on websites. Yeah. And they're saying, like, and then it's a period, but it's actually, we pronounce it as dot. Yeah, or the at <laughs> sign was a weird one I didn't get. Yeah, like, no one has to say, like, my Twitter name is at Scott Ackerman anymore. Like, we all understand it. Yeah, I didn't get it. But is that what you're here to plug, is websites? No, that was a bluff. That's actually what I'm here to plug. I'm here to plug websites.com. It's a great website. You can find a lot of good stuff. Yeah. And you can find all about... <laughs> that was your gravel. You had a bowl of rocks. Listen, here's it is. Wrong Missy. Obviously on Netflix starting today. It's been on. Really tearing up the charts. And yeah. then... All my gigs are canceled. <laughs> <laughs> so nothing else to plug. No gig. I had so many fun gigs coming up, too. It's such a buzzkill. Big Sue, is there anything you're plugging? Yes. I'm plugging my store carpets rugs down there. Please come buy my shopping carpets. <laughs> I need you to buy them. They got everything must go. Liquidation sale. Um, literally. And, literally. And I plugged the wrong Missy because I heard everything on websites.com. Yeah. Everyone's talking about it on websites.com. The, the forums on websites.com are flaming hot with my wrong Missy talk. I have a question about the carpet store. Mm. If you go there and you think you like a carpet, but you're not sure, are you allowed to piss on it? <laughs> you can do whatever you want to the carpet. It's actually, a, and I have, I will give you your money back even if you do buy it. <laughs> <laughs> That's an incredible guarantee. That's great. <laughs> you don't get that with most stores. Bob, uh, what are you plugging here? Uh, just, just two things really. Uh, the first is uh, uh, trail mix. I think it's a forgotten snack item. The concept of trail mix, yeah. not a specific mm-hmm. trail mix. Okay. Yeah. And well, if I if I'm specific, I'm going to have to say the Cape Cod trail mix from from Whole Foods three six five. What's in Cape Cod trail mix? Is it like lobster chunks? and? Yes, it's lobster chunks, <laughs> dra- dehydrated oysters, uh, uh, fish nets. Uh, uh, <laughs> fish nets. Yep, yep, all sorts of things. <laughs> oh, and, uh, and, and gay, pride pra- uh, gay pride flags, you know, from, from <laughs> Provincetown. Okay, I didn't know that was a, yeah. that was a subset of Cape Cod. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then uh, what's the second thing? The second yeah, thing is have? a show that some friends of mine are doing called Brighter. It's a brighter uh, brighter comedy show. It's every Saturday, six p.m. Uh, Pacific Coast time. Amazing. Who are these friends? And and uh, uh, this isn't Kevin Fuck. I would imagine. It's, who are these friends who are doing this show? Uh, Seth Morris and Donna Feinglass, uh, excuse me, Donna Furman host it. But, uh, you know, they've had people like Nick Kroll, Jason Manzoukas, Matt Walsh, uh, 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 and others on. It's a, it's just a fun show. Uh, many of them are benefit shows that uh, benefit local LA charities. And uh, it's it's just a good time. You can go to www.writercomedy.com uh, to find it. Uh, that's and I think you have to correct, dot com dot communications backslash internet. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. But mm-hmm. All of that you have to make sure that's in there. Otherwise, yeah, yeah. You're not well, get you have there. to put HTTP colon slash slash. That stands for internet, <laughs> internet, internet. You know, I, I heard that that pretty much everybody has HTTP. 
Oh, I think so. These well, days. Just about everybody has. Quickly. Okay, let's close up Aww. the old plug bag. You start with a C when you want to close it up. You lead to with an L and then you open up the plug bag. Open up the plug bag. Shake your hand and open it up. Then Horatio comes and then he just says, guys i want to thank you so much david always a pleasure to uh i, I said always a pleasure always. even though you've never done the show before but I it, care. It, was, I love it. it was a pleasure to have you on it's nice i to see love you. it i had fun i like talking to all you guys and uh we'll do it again and uh, um i appreciate you doing this for me because the movie means a lot i think it's a lot of fun that's great it's very funny i hope people watch it uh big sue it's great to see you it was great to be here i'm going back into the Going back into my store, getting all closed up for the night. Wait, you're going back to- into it? Where have you been <laughs> transmitting from? Outside. Yeah, <laughs> You've I've been, been outside, outside this whole time? Yeah, I better signal. Yeah. Okay. And Bob, yeah. uh, please take care of yourself. Okay. We Final can't- question for you and your mom. Can I be in your bubble? <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Th- I don't think so. Okay, worth a shot. I, worth yeah, a shot. I'm so sorry. All right, we'll see you next time. Yeah. Thanks. Bye. Bye. <laughs>